New video prompting an investigation into the Texas Department of Public Safety after the leaked video shows DPS pursuit crossing international lines into Mexico. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Morgan and I'm Natasha Paloma. We are getting a closer look at the actual dash cam footage from the chase. That is Andy mentioned was leaked. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live near the US Mexico border and Shelby, do we know what happened to the trooper? Natasia and Andy, we do know that Mexican federal officials say that that DPS trooper was released back to the U.S. after he crossed here at the America's Bridge during that pursuit. Now, Mexican federal officials do say that person who was the driver of the vehicle that that trooper was chasing was released in Mexico as he is a U.S. citizen. Here's the officer, you know, uh, um, is detained. Right? It, it, for a brief period of time, they usually detain him, and then that's when the diplomatic relations come in, right? Former El Paso and Tucson Sector Border Patrol Chief and current UTEP Professor Victor Manjares telling KTSM that U.S. law enforcement crossing into Mexico isn't unheard of. And in this leaked dash cam footage from the Department of Public Safety vehicle, you can see the trooper cross into Mexico chasing the red car, then get out of the vehicle with his gun drawn and pull the driver out of the red car. Now Manjares saying that the trooper was likely in the heat of the moment. Did As we reported, Texas DPS says there are numerous pursuits happening daily in El Paso. Congresswoman Veronica Escobar calling the number of chases concerning, but sending us a statement reading a part quote, when DHS was engaging in unsafe behavior on our streets in a similar manner, I called on them to change their policy, which they did. Unfortunately, I have no jurisdiction over state matters or purview over DPS. Now, the American Civil Liberties Union of Texas saying they are investigating Operation Lone Star, an attorney commenting on the truth trooper crossing into Mexico. DPS officers or really any type of U.S. law enforcement officer has no authority right, in any jurisdiction outside of the United States. We did reach out to Texas DPS, but they tell us that the investigation is ongoing and they had nothing else to release to us at this time. Reporting live near the U.S.-Mexico border, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.